Validating our uh, input is very important, as you might know already, and Angular has a set of different options we can use to achieve this goal. The first thing you need to know is that the form element itself is also redefined by Angular as a directive. And as you will see in the directives chapter, a directive can have a controller associated to it. And in the case of form, the controller name is form controller. The form controller is responsible to check all the child elements and track their status and validity. So for example, we'll know if our uh, input uh, type text, which is our event name, is valid or not, and so on. In order to use the Angular validation, we need to add the, the no-validate key to our form, so we will prevent the browser from triggering its own native validation. If you give your form a name, like I did in row number 7, Angular will create a scope property with the same identical name and will use the property to track the inputs and all the other fields inside our form. So with this concept in mind, let's start looking at what we can do to validate our event form. 